here's Bozo. Well, hi there, boys and girls. Yep, it's Bozo, Gary Weir. From 1966 to 1991, he entertained thousands of Arkansas kids. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. A visit to his home brings it all back. He had a slight stroke recently, his speech a little slurred, but there's nothing wrong with his mind. He can recall stories easily, like why he got picked to be Bozo by the station manager. He said, you've been here two years, and you haven't done anything serious yet. Bozo was a franchise at that time. It was on in markets all across the country. Gary was taught to do the makeup. It took me about 45 minutes to, to completely get ready. Three weeks before he was to start, Gary flew to Boston to watch their Bozo. And he didn't like it at all. The kids in the audience were bored. When he came back, he had a better idea. I told the manager of the station, I said, we need to make the children the star of the show and Bozo's the host. And did he ever follow through in so many ways? And it's old Kyle Hammond over here. How you doing, Kyle? Fine. They play games. On your mark. Get set. Go! Bozo would lead them in dance moves with each kid getting close-ups. And there was the most famous segment of all, Bozo's interviews. You know what I noticed about you, Tim? What? You're awful short to be so tall, aren't you? Yes. One that people come up to me this day and time and say, do you walk to school or carry your lunch? You know, and... Uh, Where did that come from? Well, I, I made that up myself. Are you for real or are you just a doll? Just a doll. And kids got their pictures made with Bozo, pictures and videos that many people still have today. It all worked, maybe a little too well. There got to be a five-year waiting list to be on the show. People would call in, my little girl's three, and I want to get her on the Bozo. Okay, you can bring her when she's eight. And how old are you now? Four. How old were you then? Three. And so it went for a quarter of a century. Earlier this year, Gary was voted into the Arkansas Entertainers Hall of Fame. And bringing it up on Facebook recently produced a huge response. But why? When bozos across the country would come and go in all these markets, Gary Weir, the Arkansas bozo, had staying power. What was it about him? Why Gary Weir? We did an appearance up at McCain Mall, and there were 5,000 children there that stood in line for hours. And I had to remember this. That last little boy that walked up to me, as far as he was concerned, he was the first one. And I had to make him feel like that. That's why. I sure want to thank you for watching us, though. And hey, we'll see you the next time right here in the Big Top Show. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.